Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to do an empty video. Um, these empties are actually from about mid-December is when I filmed my last empties video. So from mid-December to maybe through like the first week of February. So about a month and a half. Actually, yeah, about a month and a half, close to two months. All right, first I'm going to start off with um, some just kids products that I have briefly. This is the Hello Bello Bubble Bath in Birthday Bash. Um, I really like this bubble bath and while I haven't done like a crazy deep dive into the ingredients, it is made without phthalates, parabens, PEGs, synthetic fragrance and dyes, common allergens, gluten, peanut, dairy. It does use a natural fragrance. So I feel pretty good about this product for now and it does good bubbles in the bath and everything and you know, my kids like it and stuff. So it works for us. Happy to say I am done with this. I had one of these in the past. I had two of these were gifted to my kids at some point for a present and they're just like a foam soap and the kids love it. It, it like puffs up and you can squirt it on the walls and in their hands and they can use it on their body, which thankfully we don't really use on the body, but it has like butane, propane, fragrance, dye, etc. So I'm not a big fan, but you know, I was going to let them use it for fun since it was a gift but not something I would repurchase. <laughs> um, okay, so, oh, I forgot that this, I, I don't really look at my empties um, bin before I do the video, so it's kind of like a surprise to me. <laughs> I This was part of my project pan 2021. I did not finish it in time, and it, I think I finished it at the end of, like in December, but I haven't filmed a empty since then, so I think it was finished in 2021 but I finished one of my two Pond's cold cream. So that is very exciting. I'm very happy it's done. And I do have the second one that I'm working on now and that's part of this year's project pan. So, um, you know, these will not be a repurchase, but I am not just throwing them out. I'm using them even though they have like bad ingredients in them. I mean, bad is, you know, your own interpretation, but for me, things like parabens and, um, mineral oil and stuff is just things that I'm not um, down with uh, to, to at least like to repurchase. So I'm going to use it. I use it here and there. I mainly use it now. The only time I really do use it is if I'm getting in the shower and I have makeup on, I'll use it because I'm like using it quite briefly. So anyways, one of the two is done and you won't see the other one for a long time probably. All right. Another product here that I have is the Pure Haven Body conditioner. So this is kind of a funny story. Um, this is really old, like years old, and it has a six month expiration. Um, and it's probably like over five years old, honestly, smelled totally fine, etc. Um, I wasn't using it. My husband said he ran out of shaving cream and that he was wondering if I had a conditioner that he could use as his shaving cream. And I'm like, yes, I do. So I found this for him and he loved it. And he, he really loved it. He was like sad when it was done. I think it was about half full when he started using it and he finished it for me. And he was like, project pan when he finished it. <laughs> so, cause I had said to him, don't recycle it when you're done with it. Cause I knew that he's like, I know, I know project pan. Okay. So my husband project panned this one and he loved it. Um, they used to be Ava Anderson, uh, and they're now Pure Haven, and I used to sell their things for like six months, five years, five, six, seven years ago. Um, so I still have some of their products lingering around. So this was one of them. Would not be a repurchase for me, just because I wouldn't want to have to buy through like the website and all that. I have plenty of hair products to last me past this year anyway, so we're good. I don't know. I guess I had like a hotel conditioner that I finished up at some point, so there's that. Thankfully, I have no collection of those anymore. Um, all right, let's see. Next up, I have this little hair product, a cure. It is their Mega Moisture Leave-In Conditioner. And this is something, I don't know that I ever really used it, but my son is three and a half. So we would spritz his hair with it to brush it and like, you know, like not like gel it, but like kind of brush it nicely. So my son used this one. We would spritz his little hair and he, he kind of liked it and stuff. I think this came from a bump box a few years ago, if I remember correctly, but we finished this one up. And I've used a Cures um, toner before, and I, it was this type of packaging. And while, um, you know, I had said before, I don't like the like plastic and everything because it is all plastic. Um, the style of the packaging works really well. Like as you can see, 
I, it really gets everything out. So that's a very successful packaging in that sense. This would not be a repurchase for me unless like this is something we were really going to use on my son and we decided that it worked so well, we would do it again. All right, let's see here. I have a perfume I finished up here, Ellis Brooklyn West. Um, this was a great little size, uh, 0.33 fluid ounces or 10 milliliters. I highly suggest this. I mean, you know, of course you have the little small travel sizes, um, to a great way to test a perfume. That's how I'm testing a whole bunch of, um, Skylar perfumes right now. I had gotten the, their, their discovery kit. I think it has like six little kind of travel sprayers, but I really liked this size. Um, I bought this at some point in 2021. It's a really nice scent. Um, it, it was like a citrusy scent, but it's not fully citrusy. Um, and it's a really nice scent. I, my feeling about it was that it wasn't one that I would repurchase, not because I didn't like it, but just because I didn't hundred percent love it. But I do think it's a really nice, unique scent. So I don't know, maybe I would consider repurchasing it someday in the future. If it's, if it's stuck out in my mind in the future when I was at the point to buy new perfume, I liked it well enough. So, you know, it was good, but I do really like their perfumes. I, I also have Ellis Brooklyn Amber in my uh, collection, like that I'm using. I, I switch my perfumes like each day, I kind of do one and I switch it up and stuff. So one of the ones I'm trying from Ellis Brooklyn right now is Amber. That's nice. Another perfume I have is this Amazing Grace from Philosophy. And this is kind of a sad story. Um, this was retrieved from the toilet. Um, so basically I was putting it on and I'm not even going to open it and smell it considering it was in the toilet. Um, <laughs> I was putting it on and uh, I think I set it down and I accidentally like knocked it over. So I went to like pick it up really fast and somehow it went flying out of my hand, like into the toilet. And of course the top was off. So I could just, I saw it land in there and I was like, no. And then I could see the perfume, like you could see the cloudiness come out of it, mixing with the toilet water. And I was like, well, that perfume is gone. So I will say the few times I used it leading up to that incident, um, I didn't really love it. It was very floral and kind of like strong in my opinion, stronger than I liked. And I don't know, I, I didn't love it. So out of all perfumes that might go flying into the toilet, um, I guess this was a good one, but I did feel really bad because it was part of my project pan and um, I felt like I cheated, you know, because it's an empty, but I didn't use it up, but what could I do? Flew into the toilet, so, you know. And I also don't know how clean of a brand philosophy is. Um, so, you know, most likely there's probably some chemicals in there that were not ideal or ingredients, I should say. All right, um, here I have, ah, oh, I like this, the Live Botanical Nourishing Cleansing Oil. I had got a small size, um, their mini size at some point. They do mini sizes for almost all their products, which I think is awesome. And I, I ordered this at some point in 2021 with a Live Botanical purchase. And I loved this so much that I knew I wanted it as a repurchase to have in my collection. Um, so this was part of something I'd asked for for Christmas, the rebalancing or the forest balance ritual, I think it was called. It was like a three product special from Lib Botanical during Black Friday, like slash Christmas time. And it had a full size of it. So I asked for that. So now I have a full size of this. It has like a, um, kind of, it's a lemon balm scent and it also has lavender, but I don't really smell the lavender. And, um, I really like it. It's really a beautiful cleansing oil. It's a nice, rich feel and everything. So I really recommend this as a cleansing oil. If you're looking, if you like, if you know you like kind of like a lemony scent or lemon balm, if you know the scent, I didn't know it before I bought it. Um, and like a, like a nice thick feeling oil to cleanse with, I definitely recommend this. So that's good. I have a mascara from who knows where or when because everything is twisted off. It was probably like Maybelline or some standard. Um, and basically, I don't even really think it was done completely, but it's a mascara I had in my collection um, for possibly years, I think. So I told myself that at the end of 2021, I would ditch it, get rid of it and use like another one that I had open, which I'm gonna limit myself to like six months. I think I know you're supposed to do change them every three. 
But um, considering this was a few years, I think moving to like a six month time frame is good for me. And the one I'm using is the Vapor Mascara and it's like a small one I got as a gift with purchase in 2021. So I don't even know if it'll last the six months, but it's going to be used maximum six months. So this is some mascara from, I don't know who. And it was fine, although I do think that I was getting like the little like raccoon eyes and like flaking and stuff under it. It was probably just dry and old, you know? So I would ha always have like some situation. Maybe like that's kind of why you don't use mascara that's years old. <laughs> Live and learn. All right, the next product I have here are the Osmia Mini Bars Body Soap. So this package had five different, per uh, five different soaps, like mini soaps in it. And it comes like this and they're all like, all five of them are all stacked up in there. And the scents that they had were Milky Rose, Oh So, Citrus Pearl, Lavender Shea, and Coffee Mint. And each one of them, I think I started using them around the end of November or so. And each of them seemed to last me about like three weeks to a month. So really a good way to sample five of the soaps from Osmia or a really nice gift, I think. Um, I really enjoyed it. It was one I had purchased for myself in 2021 to try some of their soaps and I really liked them all. Um, overall, my thought on them was like that they, I kind of like a stronger scented soap and overall, I think these are a bit more like subtly scented for my liking um, just because I love scent and I could have like gone for more scent in each of them. I think my favorite was actually the last one, which was Coffee Mint. And that one um, was like abrasive sort of, it has like coffee grounds in it, I believe. So it was gritty and I, um, I mean, I'm assuming it was coffee grounds. It might've been something else. I don't know. I'd have to look at the ingredients to tell you for sure. But it was abrasive and like, it like scratchy a little bit, but sort of like exfoliating in a nice way, I thought. And it was a nice scent. Um, so I definitely recommend the, the mini bar um, package. And again, if you have somebody that loves soaps, and loves trying them out. I think that they would probably get like a lot of pleasure out of this box because I really did enjoy using it. Let's have a little sip of tea. Okay, next up we have the Sacred Rose Hand Cream. This is from, why can't I remember right now? Actually, it doesn't, ah, Ranavat. The brand is down here, but I use every last drop of this. It's a metal tube. And at some point, Beauty Heroes in 2021 had to buy one, get one free for this hand cream. So I did that. So I felt like I was getting them for like 50% of their normal costs each. So that was good. And I liked it. It was a nice hand cream, not greasy. Um, does have like a rose scent. And I'm not even necessarily a huge rose fan, but it didn't really bother me. Um, so I do have a brand new one of these in my closet that's never been opened. Right now, I am using the um, Pie Hand Cream. Uh, I forget what it's called. It's like Heavy Metal, M-E-T-T-L-E -E is the name of it. And I think it has like sea buckthorn and some other things in it. I like it, it's good. Um, so yeah, I enjoyed this hand cream. There's probably a lot of hand creams that I would like to try. So I don't know that I would, this wouldn't, I have already a new one in my cabinet. so. I probably wouldn't be looking to repurchase it anytime soon because I have the one I'm using and I have a brand new one. It's a category that actually is under control in my collection. So there's not gonna be any hand creams that I'll be purchasing, I don't think anytime soon, but I enjoyed it and I do recommend it. So it was nice to use and it lasted a while, even though it's smaller, um, I think it lasted like a good amount of time. So that's good. It is one ounce. All right, let's see. Next up, I have this little thing. When I was doing my skincare inventory, skincare, hair care, body care inventory, I, you know, went to my desk in like my office downstairs and I was like rifling through because I knew there was a lip balm in there. And then I found this little all-purpose balm from Lush, which is also probably several years old. Um, so I just decided to bring it upstairs and finish it. Um, I just used it. It was just like a thick all-purpose balm, which I don't really... I have found like I don't have a huge use for all purpose bombs. I, I think my best use for them is like a foot cream. So this was probably about half full or even like a third full. So I just used it as a foot cream for like a week and it was gone. So it was like 
you know, balmy texture. I don't want to say like Vaseline, but sort of. And those kind of products, I think, are like good for the feet, in my opinion. Or if you have really dry spots on your body, they're probably good. I don't have like really dry spots. So the feet is a good use for this. This would not be a repurchase for me. It was kind of like unscented and all-purpose bombs and I are not super close. <laughs> All right, so I finished, this was from my Project Pan 2021, Daphna's Nutrition. This was from the Clean Beauty Box from some point in 2021. Um, I started with them around Christmas time of 2021. Nope. Yes, 2021. No, no, no. Christmas time 2020. And then I had them up until they closed in June 2021. The, the Clean Beauty Box no longer is functioning. So that's when they stopped. So I don't know why I went into that. Um, <laughs> anyways, this had they had this beautiful cream. They featured Daphna as a brand for one of their boxes. And it featured one of their masks that I used a long time ago. And this beautiful night cream. I can still smell it. It was a thick night cream. It had a really nice scent, um, a good feel. Uh, I really enjoyed using it. It lasted for a really long time. And I did, I think I rolled it into this year's Project Pan. I can't remember for sure if it was finished at the end of December or if I rolled it over. Uh, I'd have to look at my things. <laughs> Everything's blending together. But um, I did finish it, I think kind of fairly recently. So it probably did get rolled in. I'm pretty sure it did. Um, so I finished it up and I enjoyed it. I have about like 10 million moisturizers and there's probably a lot more that I would want to sample. So while I really like this and it was a beautiful product, it's not like anywhere on my horizon to repurchase because I won't need to purchase a moisturizer for a very long time. And when I do, I might be more curious about exploring some other brands. So this was a nice, nice product though. Very nice, thick night cream. Another product I finished was the Couscous or Couscous, I don't know, Lemon Body Potion. This was from a Beauty Heroes box in the fall. So probably maybe, I think, I don't know if it was October. It wasn't September. It was like a little bit before, like in the summer or a little bit after September in the fall. So the second half of 2021 from Beauty Heroes. And it was a souffle-like um, lemon whipped body lotion. And it was really beautiful. And I just used it up. I mean, this was a very, I think it was almost the October or November box, if I remember correctly. Um, and this was a really fast use for me. I go through body lotions and body moisturizers quickly. And this was probably the fastest product from the Beauty Heroes box I've ever used up. Smelled really good. Um, I really enjoyed the consistency. It didn't, it sunk in, like it absorbed well and everything. Um, so if you are somebody who loves a lemon scent and like a souffle, like thick cream, I would highly recommend it. But for me, it's like $88 or something. I think it's something in the $80 range and I don't see myself spending that on a body lotion. So, um, I loved it and I would recommend it if it's something that's in your budget, um, or something you want to like splurge on, whatever, you know what I mean? Um, but for me, it's priced higher than I would spend on a body lotion, body moisturizer, but I was so happy to be able to have it, like to try it in the Beauty Heroes box, and I really liked it, so that was nice. Again, when I was going through my inventory, I found this Sephora caffeine eye masks. My mom had gotten them um, as like a sample thing at Sephora fairly recently and she didn't want to use them. So I used them and I don't really use eye masks at all. Um, I don't get, well, I have like, I don't really get puffiness so much under my eyes. So it's not really like a big concern of mine. Um, so this was kind of like a nothing for me. I wouldn't repurchase them. I used them. I had them on when I did like a face mask and took a bath and stuff. And that was nice, but I didn't sensorily, like I didn't notice anything special like scent, feel, results, anything. So for me, it was just kind of like, that was fine and I wouldn't repurchase. So I have this Ursa Major face wipe. My husband got me like a little Ursa Major small like kit for Christmas this year or for 2021 Christmas. And it included face wipes and a moisturizer and a face wash. And one night I had like fairly recently, like I guess in January I had 
flu-like symptoms one night and I was like, oh no. Um, and to the point where I was not up for like cleansing my face and doing my skincare routine, which I do every night. Like I look forward to it and enjoy it. So I was not feeling good. I was like chilly and headachey. And I just, once the kids were asleep, I needed to like get to sleep. So I was like, oh, at least I can just, I remembered I had this wipe and I actually really liked it. I remember that I really liked the scent and it felt really nice. Um, I was kind of like out of it. So I can't really give you like a ton of detail because I just really was not feeling good. But I remember like when I used it, I'm like, that was really nice. It smelled really good. It felt really good. It just did a nice job cleansing. And I think I have at least like two more of these. So I'll use them again in the future and probably comment on them. Um, I really only would take them along and there's not a lot of situations I use face wipes because if I go on vacation or like away for the night, I bring like a cleansing oil, like a travel one. Um, but maybe I'll take one on a future trip to like try again or something. Um, but the semi crazy, not crazy, semi like sick experience I had with it was very nice. So let's see. All right, we have the Derma E Essentials Radiance Toner. This was from a Petty Vorbox and it was the on only toner I had at the time. And you know, I don't know. This I don't I wouldn't go out of my I wouldn't go out of my way to repurchase this. It doesn't stick out in my mind as something memorable. Um it was fine. It had like a fine subtle scent. It's like a surprise bubble in there. A fine subtle rose scent. Um you know, felt pretty gentle on my face. I didn't really notice any anything like from it really. So subtly scented, um, gentle and fine. <laughs> so this was nice. I mean, if you're looking for like an affordable toner, uh, I don't actually know the full, full size price, but I've heard that, that, um, Derma E is more affordable than probably many others. So this might be something you would be interested in using. So it's supposed to be exfoliating an exfoliating toner because it has glycolic acid in it. Um, so it was fine. Not a repurchase for me though. Again, toners are like not high on my list of products that I feel are super important um, or resonate with me so much. So, um, or like, you know, rank as very important to me. Like I wasn't using any toner at all for um, like over a month and I noticed no difference with my skin. So it's kind of a take it or leave it type product for me, even though most skincare people, experts, et cetera, would say like a toner is important to your skincare routine for the month or so I went without one, I everything was fine. So we'll see. I do have one now that came with a Christmas present I got, so I'm using that. And I assume that there will probably be a toner from one of the Beauty Heroes boxes at some point. So I think I'll probably be pretty good with that. Um, I use this Lil Fox Azure Tranquil Blue Aura Soak. Um, you know, it was a small amount. It came from the beauty garden. I bought their, uh, a body lotion of theirs around Black Friday. And this was like one of the samples they provided, which was really nice. And it was a really like blue bath salt kind of thing. It was very pretty and it had a really nice scent. Um, but I probably wouldn't repurchase. Um, it didn't like stick out in my mind as noteworthy. I know I was like, oh, that was nice. I enjoyed it. But that's sort of where, you know, the memory of it ended for me. So Fun to try. I appreciate getting the sample to use it, but um, not a not a repurchase for me, or not a purchase, I should say. Let's see. I finished up one of the Sunny Ruckus candles. I just put this in here, the little tag, Aloha to go. I have really liked the candles that I've received from her, um, and I really liked this one. It smelled great. I think this one was like the mini one, just. Um, I think it, I don't exactly remember what all the scents were, but it just smelled really nice and kind of like islandy and everything. So I definitely recommend the Sunny Ruckus candles if you are in the mood or in the market to get some candles. <laughs> I have about three or four products left. Oh, I didn't even remember that I finished this. I had put the little like insert in here thinking, and I set it aside thinking, oh, I didn't finish it, but I did. Okay. This was the Bybee, B-Y-B-I. Again, never know. Is it I probably buy B, I don't know. Um, but Coochie All Booster, this was something that came in a Petty War box. I think it had a value of like a dollar. And it's a plant derived, it has like Coochie All, which is a plant derived alternative to retinol, vitamin A. And you're just supposed to apply it directly to your face or mix it into your moisturizers. 
serums or masks. So this was sort of like a nothing product for me. Um, it, you know, I used it here and there and it was small and I finished it up and I didn't, it, it, it was sort of like a, just like a clear unscented addition that I didn't feel like did anything for my skin or my routine. So definitely not a repurchase for me. I didn't really think too much of it and I would not buy it again. But somebody might have liked it. <laughs> All right. We have the Pie Back to Life Hydration Serum. This was a sample I got at some point from somewhere. And I did not think much of this serum. I It would not be a repurchase. It was sort of, again, like another sort of nothing product. It was a serum I used. I didn't notice any difference. I didn't necessarily enjoy using it. And that's what I look for with my products. While I've said many a time, I don't really notice much from like the results standpoint from the products I use. Um, I would at least like it to be ex experientially pleasant. And for, for me, this was just, the serum just was not noteworthy for me. So that's the Pi Back to Life Hydration Serum. I put this in here because I started to use these little, the Common Air Vitamin C caplets. I think I've used them like two or three times and I just throw them out because they're actually little capsules of biodegradable, which is awesome. And they each house vitamin C in them, uh, a vitamin C serum, I should say. But I just want to throw it in because I've been using them. I just use them here and there when I remember, like I switch up my, um, my AM serum and I'm like, oh, I'll use the vitamin C today. I would like to use them like once or twice a week, I guess, just to throw them into the routine. Um, but I like them. I really like this little concept. I love that it's biodegradable, so I don't have to feel bad about it being plastic or anything since it is not. I think there's plenty in here for a full dose for your face of vitamin C serum. And I like that you're getting the freshest each time you open it. So I think it's a really cool product. And um, I had bought the Common Air Vitamin C Serum during Black Friday for, from Credo. And it kissed, I wanted to get that and something else to like qualify for the gift with purchase. Um, and I'm very happy with this product. So I like these common air vitamin C capsules. All right. This one is the Osea anti-aging body balm. This was from a gift with purchase and I know it doesn't really look empty, but it's because this package is glass and I flipped it upside down for like 24 hours and I couldn't get anything else out. But the good news is I have, um, I ordered some makeup spatulas and they're coming in a few days from Amazon and I'm hoping I can scrape out some more of this to um, get the remainder of the product. These little spatulas are supposed to be small enough to fit in these little things and fit into lip glosses and everything. So I'm pretty excited. Um, and yeah, I was bummed when I got to this point, I couldn't get any more out. I actually really liked this. So again, it's the anti-aging body balm. I'm not into the whole anti-aging, like you're not going to age. I know these things are just going to help, but to me, like me rubbing on this lotion is not going to help age my, my body, my skin, my, you know, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure there's like great ingredients that do things, but I don't know that I feel like it's going to make any difference. So to me, it could have just said body bomb and I would probably have been like, cool. Um, so this is, it has a, I'd almost say like a subtle, like oceany kind of scent in a way. Um, and it's like a serum -y kind of lotion and I really liked it. Uh, I was surprised because I know at least one of you have said that you don't like the Osea lotions. I don't know if this falls into that category for the person. Um, so I guess I didn't have like high hopes, but I was using it and I really liked the serum like quality. So I'm definitely going to try to scrape out as much as I can from this. Um, and then... I'll just use that. It'll probably be used like in a day or two because um, there, there's probably not gonna be like a ton that comes out. Anyways, it's called the Body Firmer. So I'm sure my body is looking much more firm based on this. But anyways, I am definitely scraping this out or gonna try, try my best. Um, but yeah, I liked this. What I repurchase, I don't know the full size cost. Um, I don't know that I loved it so much that I would repurchase. Uh, one like wish list item I have for a body lotion is free and true body profit. I've heard so many people talk about how much they love that. 
So that's more on my list sometime when I finish all my little body lotion products. That's one of the ones. And I have like the Osmia body oils that I got for Christmas that I'm looking forward to trying and everything. And I have the Osea Andaria body oil, which I'm looking forward to trying. So I did really like this. So I don't know, it could be a repurchase in the future, we'll see. Two more products. Random cap in there. That's, ah, that went to the Live Botanical. Okay, I have this Live Botanical Radiance Elixir. Elixir. This was Lemon, Verbena, and Calendula. This came from when the Clean Beauty box was closing. They had a big sale because they were shutting down and I purchased this um, Radiance Elixir and I got it in June, 2021. And it said Best Buy use date was September, 2021. So I wasn't too thrilled with the fact that it was supposed to be, that it probably was sitting on their shelf because I was kind of did a little figuring out like this specific scent lemon verbena and calendula was not from that recent spring 2021. I think it was, and I could be wrong, but like their featured scent pre 2021. So I almost think that it was something that was sitting on the clean beauty boxes shelf for a while. And it only had three months left Best Buy. And I had, you know, posted it on um, Instagram and stuff and said something about that and live botanical commented and they were like, Oh, you know, if you want us to correct that problem, we can, um, you know, we have like spe special agreements or specific agreements with these um, companies, suppliers, and they're not supposed to sell stuff that doesn't have longer like than that kind of shelf life. And basically I thought it was really nice, their response. And I wasn't blaming them. I was sort of blaming the clean beauty box. And I didn't do any like blaming in my message. I just mentioned it. Um, but it smelled fine. And I was, I decided like I committed to using it and putting it in my rotation daily at that point. Um, right away due to like the low shelf life. So I was like, don't worry about it. It's all good. It smells fine. I'm using it. It'll be used up by the time. So I did use it. Uh, I guess I didn't end up using it until between end of December. <laughs> so after like probably towards the end of December. So I, I went past the shelf life a few months. Everything was fine. Um, I do want to try more of their Radiance Elixirs in the future. Um, but this one didn't really like stick out to me as something super special. I've loved a lot of Live Botanical products. Um, but I didn't really love this one. So it was, it was nice, but I don't even think they're making the special. I thought they were only keeping one regular scented one year round now, but I saw a post recently of them, I think doing one with like a rose scent or something. So I probably wouldn't go out of my way to, if I saw this as the featured scent in the future, I wouldn't go out of my way to get it, but it was nice and it was fine. And I would, um, Again, I was judging an older product, so it might have been very p far past its peak performance, you know? And um, I would be curious to use more of these because I really do like Live Botanical and I want to, you know, use more of their stuff in the future. My last product is one I did a little hack job on. This was the, um, oh, I have it on backwards. There we go. <laughs> Coco Kind Sea Kale Face Mask. Uh, this was pretty old. And I set my sights on finishing it. Um, it was it was not part of my Project Pan 2021, but I did put it in my 2022 Project Pan and finished it up fairly soon into the process. Um, you know, it was fine. It was a clay mask that didn't dry out, which was nice. It didn't like get really tight because I really don't like that feeling when that happens with clay masks. And it's quite affordable. It's probably around like 20 if I had to guess. I think most of their products are like under $30 or so. So definitely affordable. And I didn't notice anything specific with my skin after results wise, which is my general experience. Um, but it was fine. I wouldn't go, I wouldn't repurchase it to me again. I want, I'm looking for like a good sensory experience at this point and this was fine. So wouldn't be a repurchase for me. So that's all my empties for this time. Definitely took me longer than I thought. I thought I didn't really have a ton, but it turns out there was a lot of small products hidden in there and stuff. So that's where I'm at with my empties. Now I get to start a fully new basket of empties. <laughs> There's like a stain in there for my oily products. Anyways, um, leave me a comment if you would like to and give the video a thumbs up, please, if you enjoyed it. And I would love if you would subscribe so you could be alerted for when the next video came out. And I will look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.